Well, you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft improves Windows 11 start menu. If you are looking at the Windows 11 start menu like me and thinking it's an absolute monstrosity, then this video might be helpful to you. As you can see here, Microsoft have dabbled with this idea for a while and then shelved it, and now they've brought it back again. Microsoft have now integrated the changes again in Windows 11 23H2 beta. And as you can see, it allows you to put things into groups and it allows you to organize your uh, actual programs and stuff into little categories like productivity here. All these names are already been organized for you and you can see you, uh, utilities and tools and they are automatically put into these locations. Of course, you would be able to add more in there as well at a later date, but you can see information and reading it just gives you an idea of how you can organize your start menu a lot better with this feature. And I think it's something that Microsoft have been lacking for a while. They've just been ignoring the fact that their start menu is absolute garbage and they haven't actually upgraded it. And they seem to be doing lots of updates for other pointless stuff and leaving stuff that really does uh, need to be dealt with. And I think finally uh, they are starting to do uh, what they meant to do. I'll show you how to install all of this and show you how to get it set up if you want to play around with it in a virtual machine. But first, let's have a word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro or cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. They will then send you your key and you can activate Windows just like you see right here on the screen. Super easy to do. Anyway, let me show you how you can get this set up. So let's quickly show you what you need to do. First of all, you need to be on this Windows version right here, 23H2. And you can see the operating system build is 22635,4800. Uh, that is the build that you have to be on for this to work. If you're not on this build, then obviously it's not going to work for you. So the reason why I said to you do this on a virtual machine is because Microsoft haven't officially released this to the general public just yet. But to do that, you can play around with it yourself. Now, you can either join the Insider program or you can download the Windows 11 Insider Preview. And it has to be that build number that we talked about right here. I'll try and leave a link for it on my website so you can download it from there. But this is the version you're going to need, okay? So you can get this from UUP Dump. And basically, all you need to do here is choose your language and then click Next here. And this will then give you the option to choose what ones you want. I'm going to go with Windows 11 Pro. And we can go Next here. And this will move us on to the next one. So these are the options that I've got. For the download method, I've gone for the actual download and convert to ISO. And that's the one I've gone for there. So make sure the radio button is in that one. And the conversion options here, I've left it include updates, Windows converter only. That's what I've done right here. That's exactly what I've left mine as. And once you've got that selected, you can then create your download package. Now, what this is going to do is download some files. You can then click on these files and then it will go ahead and download that file. You can also need the Vive tool. Uh, here you can download it from uh, the github uh, website here i'll try and leave a link for that as well for you click, click on the latest section here and go for the vibe tool here and download it you can see version 0.3.3 and that is the version you can download so once you've got that downloaded and you've got all that sort of stuff done we can move on to the next step so what we're going to do is head back over to our download section right here and we're going to extract these files that we've just downloaded. So let's go to our download section. And this is it right here. And you can see we have the Vive tool here. So we're just going to right click on it and extract all. And again, we can extract this right here. And there's the tool that we're going to need for this particular job. And what this tool does is it enables hidden features that you can't see on the operating system. So we're going to delete the uh, zip file. And I'm now going to extract... Uh, the actual ISO package that we need to use to download the ISO, the exact ISO that we need, because otherwise you're going to have to join the Insider program. So here we can delete the uh, zip file as well. And now we just have two folders that we've extracted. So now we're pretty much ready to go. So what we're going to do first is download the ISO off of uh, UUP Dump. Now what that's going to do is download this. It will pull it down, and we're just going to go ahead and 
enlarge these icons so you can see it a little better. So let's go ahead and do that. And what you can see here is there is an actual batch file here that we need to double click on. And this will open up a command prompt window. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull that file down. So it is safe to use, so don't worry about that. What it's going to do is open up this box and it's going to start pulling down all of the required files and then create a ISO for us. It does take a while, so be patient. Uh, but once that's done, you can go back into that folder and you should see there's a bunch of files in here and there should be your ISO file right there that you can now use. So you've got that file now. You could use Rufus to create a bootable USB flash drive if you're installing this on a test PC that you use for testing. But if you're using it on a virtual machine, you can leave it as an ISO file and install it via the ISO file. It's very straightforward and easy to do. So now we've got all that done, what we need to do now is we're going to drop this down here and we're going to move on to the next step, which is going into the Vive tool. So I have got this already set for this operating system. I've already installed the operating system here. But what you need to do next is make sure you have all the latest updates and get all the latest updates for that uh, installation once you've installed Windows. That's important because you want to get all those files down and get them installed. So you can see there was some files that I needed to download, then restart the PC. And then what we can do is we can now start to use the Vive tool. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you how to do it. So what we're going to do here is this is the actual tool that we're going to be using. Inside here, there's some files and you can see there is a executable file here. We're going to be running this from command prompt. So click on the top bit inside the Vive tool folder and copy uh, this actual path here. Once you've copied the path, what you're going to need to do is open up a command prompt. So type CMD in the search like so. And once you've done that, run this as administrator. This will open up a command prompt box. And from here, we need to change directory to that path that we've just copied. So I'm going to type in here CD space and then paste and then push enter. So now we're in that directory. And what we need to do now is type in the command. And it's this command here. So it's going to be dot backslash vive tool space forward slash enable and then space forward slash. And it's going to be a bunch of numbers. You can see ID colon and there'll be a bunch of numbers there. And these are the three parts that you need to enable. I've done this and I've pushed enter and you can see successfully set the feature configuration. That's now done. All you need to do here now is restart your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you restart your computer, you're going to see a bunch of updates coming up on the screen and it's going to say update in the system. We're going to get back to the desktop so I can show you exactly what it's done. And it's basically added that feature in so you can then see for yourself. That's basically how you can get this feature installed before it's released. Now, remember, this is in beta, so it's not advisable to install this on a main system. But once it's done, you should see now a name list. And you can also see there's another option here called category and there's another option on there as well. And you can change these options to your liking. And that's exactly how you can change that feature on a Windows 11 system. And that is on 23H2 beta version. And it has to be that exact version that you're using. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment for a video request or about this video. And I'll do my best to reply. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely day and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. <music>